Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. Today we've got a quick tip for you guys out there. Um, if you're running Nginx, what I wanna show you guys today is how you can redirect from a www domain to a non www domain. Um, this is something that I think most people end up having to set up. It's actually really easy to do with Nginx. I'll show you guys how to do it in today's video. This will also work obviously vice versa. So if for some reason you need to redirect from a non www domain to a www, you can do that as well. Um, and then I prefer non www domains, but whatever. If you want to go the other way, the same technique will work. Also, this will work for non-HTTPS traffic, redirecting um, non-secure traffic to secure traffic if you have that set up. So this is going to work multiple ways. So this same technique is really, really handy to have. Let me show you guys how it works. Hey, welcome back. So over here on my left hand side, what you can see is I've got a terminal window. We are gonna use this terminal window to um, SSH into our server in just a, a couple seconds here. Above me, you can see that we've got a um, we've got a website here. So this is a website that I just put up for a client today. Um, Go Blockade, it's a pest control company. So Blockade's the name of the company. So anyway, Go Blockade, if you look at it right now, if we go to www goblockade.com, we're gonna get a problem. So this doesn't work because www traffic is not redirected to the non www traffic. Okay, so um, that's gonna be your first problem. Um, now what we're going to do is, if I go to just the normal Go Blockade, it's going to work. So my goal is by the end of this video, we're gonna be able to go to, dot, to www and get redirected to um, the non WW version. Also, I want to redirect back to the secure website because there is, as you can see, we already have secure uh, an SSL encryption set up and everything like that. So that's the goal of today's video. Let's SSH into the server, connect to it, change these uh, settings and uh, put it to work. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to use the terminal to SSH into the server. So we're going to do SSH, um, give it your username and your uh, domain name and log right in. So you can see I'm running Ubuntu 16. It doesn't really matter what you're running though. I mean, assuming you're running some sort of Linux, but um, it, otherwise it wouldn't really matter because um, it's all this is all about Nginx. Okay, so um, I'm logged into the server now. What we're going to be doing, um, if I just run a quick ls command, um, you can see there's a folder here for my website. So this Go Blockade website is contained inside of this folder and Nginx points to this folder to serve this uh, website, okay? So just letting you guys know that's how this is set up. Now, what we need to do is we need to get into the configuration file for this website, okay? And, um, or for whatever website you're working with that you wanna redirect this at. So for most people, this is going to be inside of your etc directory, Nginx. And inside of this directory, if we do another ls command, you can see um, we'll have several files. It's possible that it'll either be inside of your nginx.config file, uh, .conf, or for the way I've got mine set up is my configurations are inside of the sites available, and then I have a different config for every site um, that on this website, on this server, which is just one, but that's the way that I've, I was always taught to set it up, so that's the way I've got it done. Oh, sites, yeah, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, sites, available. Let's get into that folder. All right, and then now that we're inside of the sites available, let's ls real quick. You can see there's a catch-all and there's goblockade.com. So goblockade is obviously the site that we're gonna work with. Now, we're going to do nano, which is the uh, text editor that's kind of built into Linux. We'll use nano, it's the easiest to use. Um, obviously, there's other programs that are more powerful like Vim, um, but they take they have a little bit more of a, uh, a learning curve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use sudo to to open this as, as as a super user because otherwise we're not gonna be able to save it when we're done. So, well, you might be able to, I guess it depends on your, your configuration, but um, unless you're logging directly in as like the admin group, then you'll probably have to use sudo. So we'll do sudo and then nano to open up a nano and then we'll open up this uh, file for the configuration file for our website. Now it does look like I need to type in my password Okay, so you're not going to see anything when you type in the password, but then you're gonna click enter. Um, all right, so now that you're inside of here, you can see this is the configuration file I currently have for this server. So um, we already have a 443 
uh, port, which is the secure port. SSL is set up on this, and you can see the server name is just plain old Go Blockade without the www. There you go. So that's everything you need to do. Now, um, what we want to do is we want to create a different server block. This time, we want to create a server block for our unsecure server, okay, and for the uh, port 80. Now, the www website, in my case, um, because I'm redirecting from www to non-www, my SSL certificate is on the non-www. Now, this is important to understand because um, when someone goes to your www website, um, they're going to, they're not going to be on the secure port because there is no um, secure port for that because you're SS unless you have an SSL certificate for it as well, but um, which you might, there are like wildcard redirects SSL certificates you can have. Um, as of right now, I think it's coming in 2018, but as of right now, if you're using Let's Encrypt, they do not support wildcard redirects. So um, in that case, that's what I'm using is Let's Encrypt. So I don't have a wildcard redirect. So my SSL certificate is only for Go Blockade without the www, and that's why it's important to redirect people that are on the unsecure portion, the unsecure port using www or on the unsecure port using um, the, the non www. We wanna redirect all of those people to the secure port using non www. We wanna um, redirect them here and that's why this is important. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's fill out this server block. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say listen and we're gonna tell it what port to listen onto which is gonna be port 80. Um, port 80 is the default unsecure port that most internet traffic goes through unless it's uh, SSL. Okay, so we're listening on port 80, and then you can kind of see the format down here. We also are gonna define a server name, and this server name is going to define the, um, uh, the, the websites that we're going to be redirecting. So in our case, this is goblockade.com, and of course, this should go without saying, don't put in goblockade.com, that's my domain, you put in your own domain. Just note that there's no www here. So I'm doing the non-www version because I wanna redirect, and we're in the port 80 port, so this is the, this is the unsecure um, non-www version. Then we're gonna do a space, and we're gonna do another website, this time www.mydomain, Dot com, And so that way it's gonna redirect both of these are gonna be treated basically the same as what it means. Okay, go put a semicolon. And then for the last thing, we're gonna set up a return. And this just defines what happens when someone hits that block. So whenever someone hits one of these two sites on the unsecure port, what do we do? We're gonna set up a 301 redirect. This is the best for you know SEO and all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna set up a 301 redirect and we're going to tell it to go to our HTTPS the secure version, and um, the we're in this case we're not going to set up the www, so we're telling it to go to the secure HTTPS, no www, and then my domain. Last but not least, we also want to set up this thing called uh, this variable called request URI, and the reason that this is important is because this that request URI variable is going to represent anything that's after the domain. So if someone goes to www.goblockade.com slash contact, we want to redirect them to the secure version, but we still want them to go to that con that slash contact page. And that slash contact is maintained inside of that request URI variable. So what we're saying here is go to this version and then um, add any request URI they might have. If they don't have one, then it, it will be empty, so it's not a problem. Now, obviously, when you set this up, make sure you already have another you already need to have a server port or a server block for the, where you're redirecting them to for this to work. But we already have that, that's down here. Okay, that's everything that we need. Let's go ahead and do Control X to save. Down here at the bottom, you can see it asks for, if we want to save the buffer, we say yes, then it confirms the file name, just click enter, and it should go ahead and save that. All right, now the next thing we need to do is restart Nginx, okay? So the way we're gonna handle that, I'm gonna use sudo, you'll probably need sudo, and then we'll just do sudo um, system control, and then um, we'll do restart Nginx. Okay, that's how I do it in Ubuntu. Some other times you might be do like services restart Nginx or services Nginx restart. I can't remember the format exactly. I'm so used to Ubuntu, so I'm not 100% sure. But um, this is the command for Ubuntu. All right, so we went ahead, we, we restarted our Nginx server. Now we can come over here. Let's attempt now to go to the www block. It should take effect more or less immediately. And if you don't have very much on your server, it should boot up pretty fast. 
Okay, so um, let's try www. As you can see, it redirects us straight back to this same website. Let's try now to go to www.thewebsite slash contact. And you can see that it redirected us to the, H, the secure version, non-www, non and it added our slash contact. So we are good to go there. Um, everything is working perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this real quick, out of my SSH. You can also confirm this by using curl-i, capital I, and then go to, um, we'll go to HTTP um, and then the www version. And you can see here, we get that 301 redirect is inside of here. And you can see that it's go it's getting redirected to our HTTPS slash goblockade.com, right? So we're already, we can kind of see this as well. If I go ahead and do the same one, we'll do slash contact and it redirects us there without the slash contact. But you can see we're getting that 301 redirect. That's a permanent redirect. So that's good for like SEO and stuff like that. So that means if someone, the reason this is important for SEO is because if somebody were to link um, let's say someone gives us a backlink for SEO or just someone natively puts in your, maybe they're on Twitter, they want to tweet out your company's name. They may just tweet out simply like goblockade.com or they might, a lot of times, especially older people will put www because that's what they're used to with the internet. And so they'll, just, they'll put in the www because they just assume they need it. And they'll put www.goblockade.com and that's the URL they put. And so that's going to direct to the unsecure version and the www version and we want to get seo credit for that link someone gave us that link and so having the 301 redirect will make that count all right so that's why that's important that's everything for today's video you guys have now redirected a domain on nginx last thing i will mention for those of you guys that don't know this this should go without saying but again people can get caught up on this you do want to make sure that you've created some sort of c name or a record in your domain registrar whoever's whatever is um in your dns records you need to have a a record for your www um and it needs to point to your server okay and so that's going to be important the reason this is important is because Nginx is simply your web server, okay? So it doesn't determine which subdomains you have. You have to tell it which subdomains to use. You have to configure it that way. So if you haven't created a subdomain for www through your DNS, then the DNS is gonna cause is going to um, cause problems. It's going to stop before it ever gets to Nginx. So Nginx will never have a chance to redirect it because the DNS servers are gonna prevent the request. So Keep that in mind as well when you're working with this. Um, but other than that, just make sure you get that www. A, I usually use an A record, but you can also use a C name. And um, I just do an A record that points over to the same server, the same IP address. Um, that way when the, when the uh, domain gets redirected over to our server, Nginx now can see it. Um, without that record in there, the DNS server is going to halt the record before it ever gets to our server, before Nginx can even deal with it. So by make, giving that record, Nginx can now do what we want with it. So make sure you get that in there too. This obviously isn't gonna work unless you set up a, rec, a DNS record for this domain. Okay guys, that's everything I got for you guys today. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you guys are new to the channel, you just found me through search or anything like that, be sure to subscribe. There's a lot more content like this on this channel. We cover everything um, from web marketing and web um, development. There's lots of great stuff on here. So be sure to subscribe and take a look at some of my other videos. Until next time guys, I'll see you later.